good morning. So we camped out here in this nice little roadside parking area. Got down to nine degrees Celsius, so pretty chilly. But we got a beautiful view this morning. Off to Snowdonia National Park we go. Sleep okay? Yep. This really helped. This is a sleeping bag liner. It's crazy how much warmth that provided. I slept in the back seat. I was able to spread out. There's something in the front. It worked better last night and I had literally every layer I own I was wearing. So I kept warm. Even trying to move over. Move over there, buddy. Wow. I'm kind of pulling through the mud here. I'm pulling through the mud. We're gonna take a little stroll, more like a hike. Some of that note. Uh, how long of a hike is this? Sounds like it's a three-mile hike. So, we got our water, got some food. Beautiful hike. No idea this hike would be so beautiful. There are so many waterfalls, uh, clear water, babbling brooks, remains of houses or castles. Getting a little warm. Time to shed a layer here. Convertible pants are great. That shorts. I definitely try to look for some convertible pants, but like none of them fit me quite right. If you know of a good convertible pant for women. Let me know, because I'm open to it. All right, Peters, tell us the Life Straw Bottle. First time we're doing this. Yeah, from the wild. Looks like some nice, clean water. Mountain water. How is it? Definitely got to work for it. You know, a lot of these other things, it's like boil, or like put a tablet in and then wait like 10 minutes or something like that. This is instant. You just have to work for it. That's so gross. I was just showing you after all that effort how much water I got. It was like a sip. Disgusting. It's just water. It no, this is another it. gross episode of Lisa and Gross Things. Okay, it wasn't. No, it, <laughs> it was fine. It was just water. Just showing you. It takes a lot of effort to get one sip. Whew, I'm getting tired of these hills. Whew, walking sideways. I have to keep telling myself I'm from Colorado and this is nothing. <laughs> nothing. I'm walking a pot. I said a leisurely stroll. A stroll, yes. That's what you called it. Ooh. The incline with stones. Like everybody else that we're passing has like huge day packs on. And then there's us. We just basically basically our camera gear. A little bit of water and a snack. Two thirds to three fourths of the way up. The last little bit is always the hardest bit. I'm coming. Crazy. Yes. We made it. Oh. Yeah. Uh huh. We have to go up farther? Yeah, that's the trick. Uh. Beautiful, though. It is. Really nice. We need food. Otherwise, I was getting kind of shaky on the rocks, and this next part's like straight up. <laughs> so I was like, I better get food before I try to do that. Peanut butter and crackers. It's kind of got cold, but with my jacket on, I'm like still sweating, so it's like a sweat cold. It's kind of weird. <laughs> cold sweat. I can't, yeah, I can't tell if I'm hot or cold. We'll see if a hike helps a cold. 
We'll see if I feel better after this. Maybe my sore throat will go away. We'll see. All right, after stopping to get our snack, I just, I'm too tired and getting too cold now. And I don't want to hike all the way up there. And then it's like around, it's probably another mm, like half mile, but like straight up. And we got three miles to walk back, so. I looked at those guys are up there. No, I know. <laughs> Point them out where they're going. Yeah. I do not really feel like doing that right now. All the way up there. Do you see them? People with the big packs don't seem quite so crazy to me. Because I'm sure they have lots of layers in there. Because um, you definitely would need them. Like, I kind of want, like, gloves and a hat right now. <laughs> we probably look like the crazy ones. Speaking of crazy though, I did just see um, a young girl running up this and she was in shorts and a tank top. I mean, she was booking it too. So props to her. I told her, good job. And she said, cheers. Check out the flowers, man. You're so cool, dude. <laughs> you should have seen Lisa earlier when she was like really tired and needed food. She was just like, flowers. <laughs> You seen the flowers? <laughs> so pretty. It's funny the different phrases and words that UK uses compared to the states. So, for example, as we were walking, um, and I was starting to look really faint at the top because I hadn't had like food yet, and they say, "Hi, are you all right?" And so, to me, "Are you all right?" makes it sound like, "Oh, it's." <laughs> I look like terrible, is something wrong with me? Like, should I not be okay? Um, and so then I was like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm doing fine, thank you. So I thought he was like showing like genuine concern for how I was doing. But then after the second person and the third person said it, I was like, oh, that's like when we say, oh, how are you? So when we say, how are you? We kind of give you, in the States, we give you the option to like say how you are. Most people, you know, just respond real fast. Oh, good, fine. But here, it's, are you all right? And so you you should just be all right. <laughs> are you all right? Is you okay? The life straw bottle uh, carries one liter and the straw is good for a thousand liters. So enough for one person for a year. This is nice because then when we're in countries where the water is safe, we can just take the straw out and then just use like a regular water bottle. Nearly five hours later, we made it. Yes, time to eat. Eat? Yeah, I need a banana and soup. Oh, I definitely want an Axio. Got two packets of the dragon fruit, which is a caffeinated one. So I can get some energy back in me. So we just passed a bunch of cars that had tickets and most of them, their tires were on the pavement and not all the way over. So seriously, there was probably what, at least 40, at, at least, least 40, at least 40 at least. cars that had tickets on them. Because it was just car after car. So some parking attendant really went to town. Ka-ching, ka-ching. here per year from stupid cars get over her welcome to peaks district national park and already we have gorgeous peaks to look at and lots of sheep this is castleton these are getting amazing um the there's like purple flowers just like throughout uh, and then just very hilly um really big valleys, it's gorgeous. Curious creatures. But you got something to eat anyway? No, I, we're not here for food. Oh, you've probably been fed. No, it's not food, it's a drone. You don't eat the drone.
I'm gonna put my hand under it, and you're gonna pull these two together like this. Oh my this. goodness. Ooh. And it got my finger. You got cut? Yeah, because <gasps> you didn't stop it. Oh baby, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just chopped Peter's finger off with... <laughs> it's not off. <gasps> Ew. Good thing I have some band-aids for you. Don't suck it. I have I have cream and ointment. Alright. I'm sorry. Yeah, I had never done it before. No, I know, but you, you just, just take these sticks and go. That's in what I once, did. Just once. That's what I did. I and then stop. I know it didn't stop, so you said do it again. And so then I did it again and it started taking off again or something. Wow. Really hurting? It's numb. How it's deep not, is it? It's not deep. I'll pet it. No, you will not pet it with your dirty finger that has blood open. No, I'm you have it with my left no, you, hand. No, 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 because then you're gonna touch their open wound with that same hand. Not a good idea. Not that bad. Oh my this. goodness! Party. No, I didn't lose any skin. See, look at it. All that happened is bloody because it busted it open because it was like somebody beating it really quick, like several times. I know. All right. All the essentials right here: some ointment, alcohol prep pad, a band aid. Oh, here, just band aids on you. Water and then the band-aid. Oh, so much for being prepared. He doesn't even want my preparedness. Yeah, it's actually swung pretty good. Do you want ibuprofen? No. no. Maybe. That's supposed to help with swelling too, isn't it? Yeah. I don't need a band-aid. Yes, you're at least going to take the band-aid. I feel bad. I cut you up. <laughs> oh. It's all good. Oh. It's not that bad. I don't like hurting you. It's going to okay. make me cry. <laughs> You're not crying, but I'm gonna cry. Well, I'm starting to get feeling back in my, my tips of my fingers. Just my two fingers. I don't mean to hurt you. <laughs> Baby, don't hurt me. Don't no hurt more. Me. <laughs> Isn't that what it says? No more? No more, yeah. <laughs> Chicken, bacon, cheese, and barbecue sauce. And at first, I was unsure of the barbecue sauce with the cheese. It kind of just tastes like barbecue pizza. If you, if you, if you ever had that, I wish that the states had this. And I can't breathe through my nose right now, so I have to breathe out through my mouth. I need to take some Nyquil. For 50 pounds, this is really awesome.